Right, OK, quite simple. So we've come here to buy a studio, um, but what we're trying to avoid is because Brian, who's the old boy up there, is quite cute, I don't want him to overhear what we've come here to buy. So we're going to kind of say, well, we like that, when we don't really like it at all. So we're going to play Silly Buggers. Fuck. Fuck. It was about three grand there, but it was emergency funds. We need some audio stuff, really, right. whatever you got. You look a bit doddery on your old legs, mate. I am, I am but I'm easing it up. You right. Know what I mean? How are you? Talk, Hi, Talk uh, Riley Smith. How are you? I'm malting. There we are. That's one of those, so you know who we are. Right, thanks very much. Great, yeah. thanks. Mm. Christ, you've got all sorts in here. How much for a tank, Brian? Five gear, you. Oh, right. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Loads of stuff. Look at this. Oh, you can start a radio station with all this. <laughs> well, you go straight down, Brian. Yeah, well, it's mostly the audio stuff down there, yeah. yeah. And all this stuff small, MBI. The perfect mixing desk, an MBI 24 series. Yeah, that would be yeah. good for a newsroom. So how much would that one over there be? This one here? Yeah. I want a good price. It's not a good price. I think about 1500 yeah. 1500 yeah. God, bloody hell, that's a bit rude. Well, I like this desk. This is what I came for. But it's not too much for it. If he says it great, I'll not take it. It has up. No. I reckon not for 1500 quid. Maybe stick it up there. Well, it's going to be a lot of use anymore. He doesn't want to do it. Offering cash. That's not a good price. Brian, can you do something on that MBI mixer? Because that's that big just. One? Yeah, it's too rich. Not much. Right, okay. Not much, maybe a couple of hundred of them. Right. 1200 quid wouldn't be a disaster, but I really don't want to go to more than a thousand for it. Torquil buys a brand new mixer. To plug it in, he hires one of Gay Ray's old mates, studio engineer Les Plock. Les has done more work than anybody here, so he deserves the accolade of being Les the Les. Les the Les. <laughs> Even with a haircut like that. Well, why Les the Les? Um, well, just because we're bisexual, homosexual and lesbian, in theory, aren't we? With the station now ready for launch, Torquil has come up with a name. October the 2nd. On Medium Wave and Sky Digital, LBH Radio goes live for the first time. Across Europe, direct from Frinton. On 1386 AM, that's 216.4 metres in the medium flavour. You've got it absolutely right. You've been twiddling the little knob on the radio spot on. This is LBH Radio on a very, very, very special evening. Now they're on air, the meter's running. Every hour of broadcasting from now on will cost LBH more than £400. Time to call in the experts. Torquil's hoping the top radio ad saleswoman, Melissa Allen, will be seduced by the prospect of working on a commission-only basis for Europe's most exciting new gay radio station. What I'd like you to do is actually get some just free ads in. Just go out and get some free ads, just to make it sound like we're selling advertising. I can do that, but it's not going to benefit me, is it? No, but it will ultimately, though. Yeah, well, hmm. I don't do a job for nothing. Sensing Melissa's reluctance, Torquil and Gay Ray play their trump card. Basically, Ray's got some videos that we can sell on, or a company that he does business with, who do World War II videos. It's nonsense. It shouldn't, it's irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. That shouldn't go anywhere near the station because you'll suddenly lose the audience you have got. Right, well, we've reached the time of the evening where we uh, try and call somebody from our enormous list of numbers to see if they'll answer the phone by saying, yoo And then they could win themselves 100 quid. So let's uh, see what happens. Let's dial the old number. It is boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Woohoo! Oh, you who? I forgot it. Torquil's made his first really big hiring.
Carol Straker, the former deputy program organiser of Capital Gold. This is Carol. Carol is our serious pro. Oh, totally. You are. You're Maybe the only one like an old tart, darling. She used to produce people like Michael Aspel and Alan Freeman. <laughs> It'll be Carol's job to lick the DJs into shape. It'll be down to, to getting a style for the station and um, get the team working as a team. So we've got a lot of work to do. If anybody feels the need to, to use the cliches and the better music mixes, I'm sure you won't, but if they come into your head, please don't do it. And greetings, nose pickers, and welcome along to this week's brand new Scene 30 chart for this Friday night, because you know what Fridays are, don't you? Friday nights are music nights right here on the scene, the LBH Radio, and a very good evening to you. Welcome along. LBH now has everything a proper commercial radio station needs, except for commercials. But that could finally be about to change. Carol wants Torquil to meet an old friend of hers, who she's hoping will come on board as LBH's sales director. Alan Keane can look back on an illustrious career in ad sales spanning five decades. At an age when lesser mortals might be considering retirement, he reckons he's still got what it takes. In 1964, I was one of the pioneers into pirate radio. Now, what a challenge that was. 1964, my gosh, you know, we had a ship which was out in Florida. Now, a lot of my friends and, and business associates said, you must be mad, pirate radio station. 36 years, 37 years later, here I am. What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm talking with, with people that have the most unbelievable concepts of launching a radio station with, with, with actually a, a target market audience, of which I know nothing about. 15 songs going up, 16 songs going down, five non-movers and four new entries. Number 27. 